welcome to fourth grade, chapter eight, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So y'all are gonna love these because all you have to do is literally multiply straight across, okay? So if it's a whole number, you're just gonna put a one under it. Okay, three over one is equal to three. It's the same thing, okay? So now multiplying straight across, three times two is six. One times five is five, okay? Again, put a one under it. Seven over one is the same thing as seven, guys. Okay, so seven times three is 21. One times 10, 10, done. Okay, I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna turn y'all loose, okay? So now, okay, three over one, same thing as three, okay? Three times five, 15. One times 12, 12, done, okay? You guys finish the nine, you totally can. Okay. Matthew walks five eighths of a mile to the bus stop each morning. How far will he walk in five days? So we have five eighths times five, and I'm going to put that five over one. Okay. So five times five, 25. Eight times one, eight. And we're just going to put miles after it because it's being measured in miles. Okay. Emily uses two and a third cup of milk to make one batch of muffins. How much? How many cups of milk will Emily use? She makes three batches. So two thirds times three, and I'm gonna put that three over a one. So two times three, six. Three times one, three. And we're gonna put a C for cups. Okay? Pretty easy, guys. All right, we're gonna go over to the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check because you can, you're amazing, you're incredible, you can. All right? And this says, I want to use three quarters of a pound of hamburger meat. She makes three hamburger patties. Each patty weighs the same amount. So remember, we are splitting up that three quarters, okay? So the three, we're splitting it up by three. Well, three goes into three once, and we're going to keep our denominator. Quarter pound, guys. Okay, you ready? All right, right, seven tenths as a sum of fractions two different ways. So we could put one tenth plus six tenths, okay? We could put three tenths plus four tenths, okay? You could do five tenths plus two tenths, anything that equals seven, guys. Just add anything up to seven, okay? So, pretty easy, y'all, okay? All right. All right. Lance wants to find the total length of three boards. He uses the expression three and a half plus two plus four and a half. How can Lance write the expression using both associative and commutative properties of addition? Okay. So he could add the two plus, oops, plus, not right there, sorry guys, three and a half plus four and a half. Boom, done. Okay, now I am going to show you guys really fast a really fun little way to tell which one is bigger. Okay, so when you have two fractions, I'm going to rewrite these right here. Okay, here's how to tell which one is bigger. Okay, we're going to do the butterfly. Oops, I can't even see that. Okay, so we're going to do the butterfly, all right? So 12 times 1 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. So this side's bigger. Boom, done. Okay. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for 8.3. Come on back for 8.4 later. See you soon.